A log in a PostgreSQL is like putting a do not disturb sign on a piece of data to prevent conflicts. This is the key to managing concurrency, which means having many users read and write to the database at the same time. At its core, a log is a mechanism that PostgreSQL uses to control concurrent access to data. Think of it as a talking stick for database records. Only the transaction holding the stick, the log for a specific piece of data, is allowed to perform certain actions on it. This is essential for maintaining the asset properties of a database, particularly isolation. Without logs, you could have chaotic situations such as two people trying to withdraw money from the same bank account at exact same time, leading to an incorrect financial balance. Or in other situations, when one user reading a report while another user is in the middle of updating the underlying data, resulting in an inconsistent and meaningless report. So without further ado, let's talk about pessimistic locking. Pessimistic locking operates under the assumption that conflicts between transactions are very likely to occur. Therefore, it logs database records at the moment they are read, preventing any other transactions from modifying or sometimes even reading them until the first transaction is finished, either committed or rolled back. This approach is like saying, I'm probably going to have a conflict, so I will log this record now to be safe. In our example, when you select rows with for update, PostgreSQL logs them. Other transactions that try to update, delete, or select for update, these some rows will be blocked until your transaction completes. Use pessimistic locking when contentation for data is high and the cost of transaction failing is significant. It is simpler for the database to manage, but it can limit scalability if used excessively. It's common in financial or booking systems. Optimistic locking works on the opposite assumption, that conflicts between transactions are rare. It does not lock records when they are read. Instead, it checks to see if the data has been modified by another transaction before it attempts to write its own changes. This approach is like saying, I will assume everything is fine, but I will double check that nothing has changed before I save my work. PostgreSQL does not have any built-in automatic optimistic locking mechanism. You will typically implement it at the application level by adding a version, an integer or last updated a timestamp column to your table database. If another transaction has modified the record in the meantime, its version number will have changed and your update statement will not affect any rows. At this point, your application can handle the conflict. For example, by retrying the transaction or informing the users. Use optimistic locking when you have many reads and infrequent writes, and the likelihood of two users editing the same data simultaneously is low. This is great fit for most web applications, like a CMS or any e-commerce site where many people can browse products, but only a few update them. That's all in this video. See you in the next one.